my key takeaway from Prodigy is that it reinforces what I've been saying all these years, that uh, continuous monitoring is not an option. It is absolutely needed. It is a safety issue for our patients. So the biggest surprise was the number of patients who truly dangerous episodes of respiratory depression. It gave me a much better understanding of how many patients are getting very close to having real dangerous outcomes and continually monitoring these patients would allow nurses and other healthcare providers to have earlier interventions with these patients to keep them safe. My reaction to the results, the project results to date, is that I was surprised by the um, high number of patients who had respiratory depression, as well as the effect it had on, um, on, on outcomes, primarily length of stay. I thought that the um, effect size was quite large for something that we routinely do and we have always thought to be safe, which is giving opioids uh, for our post-surgical patients. I think the most important takeaway from the Prodigy study was, the show, was, the, was that um, we should always look at things that we do routinely and we think is safe because um, uh, of, um, as this, this study shows that something that we take for granted uh, is uh, not as safe as we thought it was and that, uh, that, that this provides us an opportunity to do better for our patients. The Prodigy study was exciting because we were continually monitoring these patients postoperatively. It gave us a very rich understanding of how these patients breathe after surgery, especially in response to opioids and other sedating analgesic medications. This information is unique and hasn't been done before and allows us as healthcare providers to understand how better to monitor these patients and how to better care for these patients to avoid tragic outcomes that can result from respiratory depression. The one big takeaway from Prodigy is that most of our patients need continuous monitoring, need continuous smarter monitoring, and a tool that can help us at least say that this is a cohort of patients that absolutely 100% needs continuous monitoring that will really help us move further and advance science in this area.